Good morning, students. In the previous class, we discussed about the that is uh, reduction reactions, that is reductions to the hydrocarbons like uh, Clemenson's reduction, or Fischer reduction. We are discussed along with there we are discussed about the oxidation of this RDH and the ketones. In this uh, class, we are going to be continuing this uh, oxidation reaction, that is uh, oxidation of methyl ketones by allophone reaction. Now, now we are going to be discussing about the that is the oxidation of methyl ketones by allophone reactions for reactions. In this sub, uh, when it comes to that oxidation of methyl ketones by halophone reactions, in this sub, uh, ODH and the ketones, ODH and ketones uh, is going to be which contain at least one methyl group uh, to the uh, carbonyl uh, group. It means one methyl group should be attached to the carbonyl carbon. These reactions undergoes the oxidation by with the halophone reactions. This uh, suppose if you going to be taken an example. That is uh, acetaldehyde is going to be react ox uh, acetaldehyde undergoes oxidation with the sodium hypohalite. Sodium hypohalite is going to be formed the corresponding sodium salts of carboxylic acids. Corresponding salts of sodium carboxylic acids. Here yeah, we are going to be taken by example. Yeah, yeah, general equation. I am going to written this general equation. Suppose this is either the ketone or the aldehyde. Aldehyde again goes to ketone again. If you are going to be taken here H, this is the aldehyde. If you are going to be taken the other alkyl group, then it is a ketone. This undergoes the oxidation in the presence of that is a sodium hypohalite. Hypohalite is going to be found with corresponding salts of carboxylic acid which contains the one carbon less compared to the that is parent uh, that is reactant. Means uh, this we are going to be get at RC double bond O O N A. This we call as a sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid it is going to be formed. Then this, this now we are going to be discussing about the that is uh, uh, the examples now. Example. We will take that acetaldehyde. If you are going to be taking the acetaldehyde, the formula can be written as H C double bond O C H. This is about the acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is going to be treated with the sodium hypohalite. Hypohalite is going to be formed that is going to be formed that corresponding sodium salt of formic acid. Sodium salts of formic acid. It is going to be acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde. We are going to be get that formal ions. Sodium salt of form, that is formic acid. And we are going to be get that sodium salt of formic acid. Means it is going to be used in corresponding sodium salts of carboxylic acid. It is going to be used which contains the one carbon less compared to the reactant. In this, uh, this we can only written uh, for the suppose if you going to be taken the acetone that is uh, sorry acetone. You know, aldehyde. Then we we'll take the example that is the we we'll take the example that is the acid uh, ketone that is the ketone example uh, acetone to be the acetone is going to be treated with the sodium hypohalide hypohalide at that time we are going to be get that CH three C Double bond O O N A means sodium salt of that is acetic acid. That is a sodium salt of acetic acid. Sodium salt of acetic acid. We are going to get that. 
this about the uh, oxidation of methyl ketones. Suppose we will take the another example. If you are going to be contains the uh, reactant contains the uh, double bond. Suppose it is having the CC double bond. Then H CH3 H O CH3 then double bond O CH3. If presence of this type of ketones, then this is going to be treated with the sodium hypohalide. Then we are going to be get that the product as C C double bond as it is. Then H CH3. Then C double bond O O N A means which does not affect the that is oxidation does not affect the CC double bond present in the compound. This about the oxidation of methyl ketones uh, are the that is the methyl aldehyde uh, by the halophone reactions. The next we will discuss about the that is the uh, reactions due to alpha hydrogen. Discuss about the yeah, there is the reactions uh, due to alpha hydrogen. <coughs> alpha hydrogen. Uh, yeah, these are very important for the examination purpose. So many times asked in the examination, like uh, these are the pronunciation. Are heta condensation sometimes uh, they are said uh, cross condensation. condensation. This and all we are going to be discussed in this reaction. Sir. There is reactions due to alpha hydrogen atom. First, we should know what is meant by alpha hydrogen atom. Means this is a carbonyl group. We are going to be taken as C double bond O. This is the carbonyl group. This is the carbonyl group. This Attached carbon is present, is known the carbon which is attached to the carbonyl group is called as a is called as a alpha carbon. Is called as a alpha carbon. Then the hydrogen atom which is attached to the alpha carbon is called as a alpha hydrogen. Is called as a alpha hydrogen. In the end, the carbon atom the carbon atom this is a carbon atom which is attached to the carbonyl group which is attached to the carbonyl group is called as a alpha carbon then the hydrogen atom which is attached to the which is attached to the that is the alpha carbon is called as a alpha hydrogen then the oldies and ketones undergo many reactions due to the presence of the alpha hydrogen atom. Then the these hydro uh, due to the uh, acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom. Due to the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom. Yeah, what uh, what we should know? We should know about the what is meant by alpha carbon atom. What is meant by alpha hydrogen? Then we can study the reaction due to alpha hydrogen atom. Yeah, the alpha carbon is yaw carbon no carbon and group ki attach a group to R carbon and no, alpha carbon. Are they uh, alpha carbon ki attach a group to hydrogen atom and no, the group to alpha hydrogen atom? No, the group to these are uh, audience and the ketones uh, uh, undergoes the many reactions due to the uh, presence of this uh, due to the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen. Atoms. This acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom is going to be explained by the. Uh, I'm going to be explain now. There is a suppose uh, it is a it is a carbonyl group which is going to be carbonyl group which contains the carbon atom then which is having the hydrogen which is having the hydrogen. This is going to be attached the conjugate base to the hydrogen atom, then it's going to be here. Then we'll get that resonance structure that is the C double bond O, then C minus, then, then for a shifting of 
this electron will here then it's going to be electron will trans to the that is oxygen atom we are going to be get that that is the c o dash sorry o then minus then it's going to double bond then c there is going to be resonance structure means yeah the that is a the react acidic due to the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom is due to the that is electron withdrawing uh, effect of the carbon electron. Yeah, the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom is due to the electron withdrawing uh, character of the carbon electron. This about the that is the uh, electron withdrawing effect of the carbon electron. Uh, carbon Group. The next we are going to discuss in the I said that reaction due to alpha hydrogen atom. Yak reaction of the alpha hydrogen atom because of the acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen. Yak acidic nature of the alpha hydrogen atom because of the electron, electron withdrawing effect of the carbonate group. Then now we are going to discuss in the body reactions due to alpha hydrogen atoms. The first one we are going to discuss about this is order condensation. The first one we are going to discuss is order condensation. Now we will discuss one of the important reactions that it is a reaction due to order that is alpha hydrogen atom is order condensation. That is order condensation. That is polyates and ketones. Oleates and ketones having the alpha hydrogen atom which undergoes the cell condensation or auto condensation in the presence of that is dilute NaOH as a catalyst or barium hydroxide as a catalyst is formed with beta, beta hydroxy oleates or beta hydroxy ketones. Uh, ketones going to be formed. This reaction we call it as a Order condensation reaction. Order condensation reaction under the name under oleates. That is the oleates which is having the alpha hydrogen atom. The condition is that. Yao oleates and the alpha hydrogen atom is that. And the oleates the self condensation of the atom or auto condensation of the in the presence of the the catalyst which is a catalyst that is the sodium hydroxide or barium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide or Barium hydroxide is going to be used the beta hydroxy oligate, beta hydroxy oligate. Or ketones in other tone is that ketones that is beta hydroxy ketones are going to be formed. We take the uh, one example for this that is oral condensation. Let us take the ethanol CH3 CH4. That is two molecules. Condensation as the two molecules take up that. Then this is uh, the name of this is ethanol, AN, not OL. OL is the alcohol alcohol. AN is the but oleate. Here ethanol. Uh, here this undergoes the condensation in the presence of this dilute NaOH. Dilute NaOH. It's going to be from a beta hydroxy oligate. Beta Hydroxy oligate. That is a joint form that is beta hydroxy oligate. This on heating, this on heating is going to be take place the removal of the water on heating. It matter a little hydroxy group. But the other to take it, the key carbon element on the hydrogen atom is a little that is the removal of the water is going to be taken. Okay? Then it's going to be formed that is that is the CH3 CH double bond CH CH2. This about the product is going to be we are going to be given. Then name of this is beta hydroxy hydroxy beta hydroxy. We are going to be say that this is a beta hydroxy. Then one, two, or the eight, we can, we can, we can, we can generally we can represent that is or the eight. Then the name of this compound is butte, butte, two, in, all. 
you know, the name of this company is Blue Tools Evil. Like this only we can uh, see that uh, it all condensation. Oily or uh, that is a uh, name of this we call it as a dal Alpha that is a uh, beta hydroxyhydrate na and then the country ordal of no control. And then now no ketones no coda in the reaction of the house. Thus the ketones are what is going to be it's which undergoes the if suppose you can take the example two propanol. Two propanol that is a uh, CH3, C double bond O, the name of this compound is 2 propyl. This undergoes the condensation. This undergoes the condensation in the presence of the barium hydroxide. BA, OH, twice. Then it is going to be formed that is CH3, C, OH, then CH3, then CH2, C double bond, CO, C, and then CH3, CO, CH3. We are going to be getting that. CO, CH3. This we are going to be getting. This on heating, this on heating, it is going to be, takes place the removal of the water. Then this on heating is going to be the expressed removal of the water. It's going to be formed that is water of the OH in the H in the removal of that. Then raise the CH3, CH3, double bond, CH, CO, CH3. This about the product we are going to be getting. We yeah. This about the oral condensation. Oral condensation is very important for the examination purpose. In the oral condensation, we can say that oleates are videos which contains the alpha hydrogen atom, which contains the alpha hydrogen atom and goes the self-condensation or auto-condensation. So in the presence of that is dilute in your OH are barium hydroxide as a catalyst, which is going to be used the Beta hydroxyhydrates and beta hydroxy ketones. Then on heating, we are going to be getting the respective condensed product. We are going to be get this about the order condensation. The next we are going to be discussing about the cross order condensation. 